Hello and welcome back to Craft the World. This is episode number five. And we are about to be invaded by an angry wave of monsters that are touching down as we speak. And they're not taking it very seriously. They're telling jokes. This guy's laughing. He's hey, did you hear the one about the sheep and the goblin? And they're way the heck over here. I don't know what they're doing. Taking a break, a little coffee break here. Uh, on their way back, hauling goods, just stomping his feet, not knowing what to do. And this, my friends, is why we bought this game. It is to save the lives of dumb dwarves. So let's get to it. I'm going to show you where we left off here. <laughs> Look at these clowns. Uh, first, let's hit P for pause. So here is the portal that opened up at the end of the last episode, or just about anyway. And this is the first wave of monsters that comes out in Craft the World and it happens every, I think, 45 minutes or so and there's a counter up here and if you recall in the last episode that counter had counted all the way down or just about and uh, now it's open and this undead army is spewing forth from the portal and they are making a beeline directly to the dwarves. They have one single purpose in mind and that is to kill and eat tasty dwarven meat. So these guys are... Uh, are in some trouble. So we need, look, look at this guy, look at, who are you? What are you doing? I, I can't select him right now, I guess in pause mode, but. So we've got a dwarf here taking a midnight swim, not like there's an invasion of monsters. And, uh, and these guys are hauling stuff, so. <laughs> all right, here is the plan. We need to get indoors. I wanna call them all back into our little uh, cave system here. Get them behind the doors if we can, the hatch and this door. And uh, eventually these skeletons are going to make their way over here and start pounding on things. Uh, and they'll, they will break through, but if, at least if we can get all the, the dwarves together, fighting as a single unit, and concentrate their fire, then they might be able to make it through this alive. But this is a little, it's a little tricky here to get them home. So I'm going to have to, or I'm going to unpause. I'm going to put this here. Guys, use, the, use that, please. And, oh no. No, 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 no. Call them home. I know, he's coming out here to haul. Okay. When you click on this here, it sends them back into their house. All right. Oh my gosh, look at- Oh no, a beholder! Oh dear. Oh, oh, and super armored skeleton. This is gonna be bad. All right, so here they come. Let's close that. Now, I'm gonna pause it here again. Sorry, I don't usually pause. I play right through, but I think for, for tutorial purposes, this is what we need to do. So- so at this point, we just want to make sure that everybody has a weapon and a helmet at the very least. If we can make some armor, it might not be a bad idea at this point because I don't see any more armor. Let's craft up. Um, I'm not sure if I have enough. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, good. I've got rope. I wasn't sure if I had rope, but we do. So let's make a couple of bits of armor. This is really going to help our survivability rate of at least a couple of dwarves. So get rid of that. Let's make another one. Two dwarves. Excellent. All right, let's give it to number two, Lorcar. And number three, Endwile. Whoops. And I think... Is everybody, oh, no, Brock. Oh, 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 no, Brock. I think what we'll do is give this to Brock instead, because he's, he's pretty well hurt. I'll mitigate some of his damage. He's, only, he's got two hearts. All right. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Everybody ready? Now, why are you all over here? I want you here behind the... Oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh... Yeah. I have erred here, folks, and I want you to learn from my mistakes. So, here, apparently, because... Yeah, funny. Ha ha, ha ha. Because all of this is designated as home, right? Because I put the totem here. They just kind of decide where to go, I guess, based on where they're most comfortable. But really what I should have done, and hold on, oh, I'm glad you picked up that hatch, thank you. Uh, really what I should have done, in retrospect, now that I'm looking at this, is we should have got everybody behind closed doors over here. Not that it matters, because like I said, these guys are going to bust through the doors anyway. So they will get to the doors sooner or later. But later is better, because when the sun comes up, they, uh, they burn up in the sun. So dang it. So dang it, dang it, dang it, we could use another door here. But I screwed up. Okay, well, let's just get through this. Let's just go to war, boys. Get in there. Hopefully, that beholder doesn't come down. Ooh. 
Ooh, come to the top. The walls are broken, right? All right, we're doing okay. There goes another one. Another skeleton down. Excellent. Nice work, gentlemen. Stop. Stop. Okay. Let's just take a look through there. Um, through their health here. Floor car. Good. Spar. Everybody's got at least a single heart and a little extra. Not too shabby. Now we have a beholder to deal with. And if we just keep them down here, we might be okay. Let's see if we can... Now, somebody, did somebody pick up that, uh, that hatch? Because if we can put the hatch back up. I've got a door here. Okay, somebody sneak up there and put that up there. Now, the one problem with that is, you know what? Maybe I can take control of somebody. Uh, yeah, let's take it. Hey, stop throwing my stuff around. Yes, I can do it. I can do it. Nice. Right, let go. But they're all thinking, Jesus, it's kind of late. We should go to bed now, don't you think? Yeah, I don't know. We just beat up some skeletons. I feel pretty good about this. Um, I don't think there's really any reason to go out there and fight this guy. I'm not sure what they drop. And I'm afraid... Ah, heck, let's get him. Humtar! Oh, why are you going... Come on! Come on! You gotta do this as one! Oh, because I had the hatch closed. Oops. Why are they going over there?! Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, monster! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why are you going after him? He's going after one guy. Come on, get him in! Get it, guys! Get in there! Forget the ghost! You guys have to do this together! <laughs> yeah, when they get beat up, he's like, I'm just gonna go take a nap now. Sorry, guys, you take care of this, okay? <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no, more! More, 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 more. Get in there! I didn't know there was more. Get down, 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 get down! Oh, another another batch coming. Another wave. We're six dwarves. We haven't lost anybody yet. Good. Whew. Yes, take a nap. He did go to sleep, didn't he? So did he. Yeah, when they get to a certain point, I guess, when they're really hurt, they, uh, they do decide to go to bed to heal up. Low health. Which makes sense. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh yeah, fine. Get the get the ghost. That's fine. He doesn't attack back. Oh, we got a new guy. Reinforcements. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's gonna end up right over here. I hope he hops into that portal quickly. So we got a new totem. Oh no! Here he comes. Don't take that down. Get in there. Get in there. Whoo! Whoo! Lucky man. Lucky man. Let's go see who he is. It's Clack. Clack. Or Clash. I like Clash better. We'll call him Clash. There we go, Clash. Have some gear, my friend. You are... You don't know how lucky you are. Yay! Sun's up! We've survived! Thanks, boss man! Ho 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 ho! Now, they should burn up in the sun! What the heck is going on? Thank you! I really want to kill that beholder, though. Stop! Let's check everybody out. Oh, man. He's bad. Alright, um, go rest. Go rest. I'm wondering if I should send everybody that's in decent shape, but there's not very many, is it? To go kill this beholder, because I wouldn't mind grabbing um, his drops. But how. Th oh, he's not going anywhere, is he? Alright, guys, come on. We can get this guy. Oh, no, he's pretty tough. Get him. One heart down, almost one heart. He hits hard, doesn't he? Ooh. Come on, boys. Dig in. We can do it. Hit him harder with those sticky clubs. We need better weapons. There we go. Excellent work, gentlemen. Excellent work. Didn't lose a single dwarf, which is surprising considering I messed up here in the home. I'm going to have to change that around. I think. Um, I think I may, instead of having this even at. Oh, ooh, guys, get all this. We need that. All right, let's get back to work here. Come on, we got plants growing in the house here. <laughs> Vines and weeds growing in, the, in our basement. I think what I'm going to do is um, put doors here and move the totem over here. So let's do that. Let's remove that totem. Let's make this part the home because we've got a door here. It closes it up nicely on that end. A door here. We'll put a door here. And that, because uh, we don't want this to be home. I want them to go in this place, in this side where the beds are. 
Okay. Uh, all right. Now, dudes, there's stuff over here that these guys are still after. Look at this. The ding-dongs. Fine. Go get it. Grab the rock. Grab the trees. Grab the bush. Kill the snail. And now, now that that is over, the next wave is 46 minutes. And uh, so we've got plenty of time. Not much to worry about right now. So let's, um, let's take a look at the craft tree and see what we can do in between the next, uh, before the next wave comes. Here's what we want to do. We want to make up a bucket and grab some water. We can make a hand. So we want to learn this technology, obviously, so we can move on and get... Well, we have advanced ironworks, right? But we want to get this basic weaponry going. We really want a bow and better weapons. Um, and the horn, too, calls all the dwarves to a specific location, which is really nice. And that way, I guess it won't matter what's designated at home as what isn't and, and what isn't an archer glove. Okay, cool. So let's concentrate on this right now. Let's make a bucket. We'll do that with some nails. We got some planks. Remember, we made up planks at the end of the last episode. So that's going to go into the queue, and somebody's going to go do some carpentry work on that. And I think... Did we assign... A, let me see who's doing the carpentry work here. This guy. With the totem on his back. Nice job. Go put the totem away first. Ding dong. All right, Brock is going to be our carpenter man, probably. It looks like... So let's, um, whoops. Let's go back to Brock. Yep, kill the tick. Where's Brock? Here's Brock. Let's equip Brock with a smith. Oh, I thought I had, didn't I? Did I make somebody a carpenter last time? Oh, I did. already did that. Lorcar. Well, I guess, I guess Lorcar's not going to do the carpenter. I guess it's whoever is closest or something, which is kind of annoying. All right, well, we have another totem, so let's put our totem up. Um, where is the totem? Now, what is the totem considered? Here it is. Okay. By the way, at the end of the last episode, you didn't get to see it. Oops, I don't want that. But I did move the, um, I mean, I put the, the chest down over here. And that, that adds comfort to the home. Because we spent all that time in the last episode making the chest and getting to that point. And uh, I never put the darn thing down. All right, so how about, do we make a saw yet? I don't think we made a saw. Let's do that, which is two iron. And we're getting a little low on iron. We're going to want to make some some iron pretty soon. So now we have a saw. Let's just make another helm right now. Ooh, we have lots of leaves. That's what's nice about those vines growing in the basement. We'll just have an extra helmet in stock here. And we're going to get some more. We need more, string, more rope, so we have to get some more wool. And finally, we've got we, we, an iron tools. So oh, it still hasn't popped yet. What the dickens? All right, we'll make some planks then. We'll make some planks. We need some. We could use some planks. Uh, planks are always useful. So we'll keep somebody cranking away on some planks. That'll keep someone busy for a bit. And did we get the bucket? Yeah, we have buckets now. So let's um. First of all, let's equip somebody with that saw. Where's that? Did, did, was the saw even made? I think it was. Uh, sorry, man. Sorry, 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 sorry. Where's the saw? There's the saw. Okay. So the saw, let's take a look here, increases the efficiency of logger and carpenter skill. So the guy that's doing the carpentry right now was Brock, right? Let's give him the saw. Goes right there in that little slot. And obviously, um, you can only have one... One accessory item, not including the boots and the uh, and the backpack, but I think only backpack and armor goes in the back area, so it's not really an accessory. Technically speaking, I guess it is. But. All right, now let's some more iron over here, fellas. Oh, timberworks. We got advanced timberworks. Nice. And that didn't unlock anything, so it looks like we're gonna have to start building. Start crafting in here to unlock the basic weaponry, which is not going to be a problem. Let's do that right now. And then I'm going to assign some guys to get some more iron because it looks like we're getting low. And we can start digging in that other area. Oh, I need the smithy. Right. Dang it. Yes, this is important. So here's the smithy. And we're going to need water for a smithy. So there's a whole process here. We need, we need water. And in order to get water, we need a bucket. And to get water... With the bucket, you just have to click on some water. And let's do it right here. I'm going to put, put this here. And we're going to click on the water. It just says gather water. 
And while we're here, we'll kill that boar and we will get that tree. And there it goes. This is flying across. Oh, come on, really? Be a little more careful with the water. All right, enough. I think we have enough water, guys. I'm not sure. Maybe they collect a whole row of it or something. That's what it looked like. They they got this entire like foot of water. Get out of. It's pretty deep there. I can see that now. Hopefully you don't drown. Did he get it? Man, they're dumb. They're so dumb sometimes. Dude. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can't watch them because they're driving me crazy. So let's check our home now. 55%. And you know what we need is a door. See that we're missing a door right here. We need the hatch. Let's put the door here. And that'll close this up and make it more comfortable. But now we're going to have to move that over. Um, or we'll put the hatch. Actually, let's put a hatch here too. Let's see. Put a hatch here. Whoops. Can we put a hatch here? Yeah. All right. Very cool. And we're going to put a torch over here. And I think we're going to dig this down a little bit. And put our... Um, I might have to move that, actually, but I want to put the, the smithy over here. Alright, let's 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 get crafting with the smithy here. Let's see. Now that we have our water, right there, excellent. It's just a chunk of water, oddly enough. A little coal. We need some iron. Got it. And some stone. And boom. Smithy. And it's an instant craft, which is pretty swell. Dig in, fellas. Come on, one more, one more. Yeah, let's put this here. 54%. we got to get some more um, tables and chairs and things in here to make them a little more comfortable. Nice! Minor upgrade. You rock, dude. Get it? You rock. No, never mind. All right, let's do that. Build stone. Build stone. Build stone. Build stone. Stop tapping your feet and do something. And the smithy should be able to fit there, I think. My guys, don't sit around and do not die. What are you doing, dude? Here, get some sand. And let's put a portal here. We're just going to get... I think we're just going to do this. Cut. Yeah, alright. Grab the water, too. Okay, smithy. Uh, let's put it over here. Nope, 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 nope. There we go, smithy, make it. I was gonna make the smithy. I just wanna pick a flower. Ding dongs. There we go, finally someone with some brains. <laughs> I could use a cup of tea. Are these guys hurt? Because I'm gonna put some people to sleep. Yeah, all right, go to rest. Waiting, go to rest. This is a good time to sleep while there's really not much going on. Get everybody back up to full strength. Or at least mostly everybody. Because I don't know of any other way to get these guys to heal. I don't have any other means of healing them yet. Oh, I need another bed, don't I? Oh, dang it. All right, gentlemen. Uh, where can we put a bed? Let's... Uh, I don't want to put it over here because it's not in our home. It's getting dark now. All right, well, someone's just going to not have a bed, I guess. Oh, that's why they weren't going out that way. <laughs> All right, let's craft up some iron tools and let's see if we can unlock weapons and we'll do that next time. I think we're going to call it quits here in a minute. Whoopsie. No, 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 no. Let's make an iron pick. Okay. We got some iron. We have some wood. And that's going to go on the smithy clearly. And why don't we make... Let's make two of those. And then... Okay, we'll get somebody cranking on that. Oh, I have a smithy book, don't I? Who is this smith? This is Anwile. Good man, Anwile. So, let's go ahead and make him... I do have a smith book. Awesome. Alright, he's a fisher, and now he's a smith. And, ooh. We can make him a double smith. He's a double bubble smith. Look at that. Fisher and smith, both up to 19. He'll be cranking away there. And now we want to craft, let's make an axe, iron axe, 
be nice. Make a couple of those too. And that should move us along this tree fairly well. Oh, we can make a smith apron, right. Let's do that. We have a roll of leather. And we have some iron. If we give him the smith apron. If we give uh, Anwil the smith apron. Where is it? Here it is. Oh, it goes here. Nice. Increases the efficiency of the smith skill. So he should make real short work of this. Now, dude, um... Well, just go rest since you're not doing anything. We're just going to concentrate on the smithing right now. It looks like we're in the clear. I don't see any bad guys coming. Yay! Strength and arms! We built the blacksmith's table. Oh, I didn't even know that was an, an achievement here. Collect coal. Which we have done already. I guess we have to do it again. Uh, advanced ironworks. Farming. And we're still not at the tree. We still haven't cut 30 trees yet. Alright, all six beds are in use. So I'm gonna have to dig in. I'll do this off camera. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put a flooring in here. In fact, we can do this. We'll get somebody to do this. Remove that torch. That's not what I wanted to do. But, um, shoot. Actually, what we can do is replace torch, I think. No, can't do that. Okay, remove torch. So I'll get somebody to do all this over here, or I'll do it myself. Take control of a dwarf. And we'll make another floor here with some beds. And I'll just do that off camera, because right now there's a lull in the action. We've got 40 minutes before the next big wave. So that shouldn't be a problem. And we'll dig in over here and expand our workshop a little bit as well. All those guys are sleeping. We've got a few working. Okay, I think we're in pretty good shape here, folks. Oh, jeez. Get that guy. He's throwing stuff around. Darn ghosts. Uh, climbing cats will help folks climb. And let's equip some folks with some new iron weapons. Now that we have iron weapons, let's go to the very first dwarf. Was Spar our first dwarf? I guess he was. First dwarf gets the first iron pick. And we will give Lord Car... He's our carpenter, so that's that helps his logging, right? And a miner here. Let's give this miner... Oh, we don't have the new... Hunter. Alright, well, we'll give... Uh, we'll give this guy... Everybody's going to start with at least one iron tool. Okay. Oh, they woke up to go after that thing? Maybe. Anyway, alright, I think we're going to call it quits here, folks. I hope you all enjoyed. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode.